Gentlemen, it is my duty to inform you of one beauty, though I'd ask of you a favour not to seek her for a while, though I own she is a creature of character and feature. No words can paint the picture of the Queen of all Argyle. And if you could have seen her there, boys, if you had just been there, the swan was in her movement and the marble in her smile. All the roses in the garden, they bow and ask her pardon, for not one could match the beauty of the Queen of Old Argyle. On the evening that I mentioned, I passed with a light intention through a part of our dear country known for beauty and for style, being a place of noble thinkers, of scholars and great drinkers, but above them all for splendour shone the Queen of Old Argyle. And if you could have seen her there, boys, if you had just been there, the swan was in her movement and the marble in her smile. All the roses in the garden, they bow and ask her pardon, for not one could match the beauty of the Queen of Old Argyle. So, my lads, I needs must leave you, my intention's not to grieve you, nor indeed would I deceive you, no, I'll see you in a while. I must find some way to gain her. To cut her and to tame her, I fear my heart in danger from the Queen of Old Argyle. And if you could have seen her there, boys, if you had just been there, the swan was in her movement and the marble in her smile. All the roses in the garden, they bow and ask her pardon, for not one could match the beauty of the Queen of Old Argyle. And if you could have seen her there, boys, if you had just been there, the swan was in her movement and the marble in her smile. All the roses in the garden, they bow and ask her pardon, for not one could match the beauty of the Queen of Argyle.